Do you want to know the best way to generate leads in the next 12 months? The world is changing and lead generation can seem really overwhelming. So to simplify this, I am going to give you my top 10 best tips to generate leads in the next 12 months. Let's get started. Hey everybody, this is Antoine Dupont and welcome to another video. If you're new here and you're looking for tactical and practical ways to grow your business, then please make sure to subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss a thing. So what are the 10 best lead generation strategies in the next 12 months? So first, let's look at what lead generation is and what its purpose is. Lead generation is the first step in a four-step lead generation process, which is made up of one, lead generation, two, lead capturing, three, lead nurturing, and four, lead engagement, aka the sale. Now, lead generation is at the top of the lead generation funnel. It's basically where we attract as many people possible to our brand, our services, or our products. And this is really the beginning part of a relationship with a future prospect. And ultimately, and hopefully, convert them into a customer. Without it, we wouldn't have a fresh inflow of leads coming to our business, and over time, our sales would start to decline. That's not what you want, right? So let's keep those prospects knocking on the door with those amazing 10 best lead strategy for businesses in 2019. And the first one and my favorite, video marketing. Videos are already dominating the internet with our favorite way to consume content. And with YouTube as the second largest search engine in the world behind Google, and chances are your potential customers are already looking for content related to the products and services that you offer. And if they watch few of your videos, chances are that at one point they're gonna call you for your services or your products. That's why I said that for most businesses in 2019, video marketing is the best lead generation tool by far. Plus, your videos are going to position you as the authority in your industry. Now, let's move on to the second lead generation strategies, clarifying the message on your website. And no matter how great your videos are, if people watch your video then land on your website and your messaging is confusing, they're going to leave. So clarifying your message and your value proposition is super important for them to convert. And the problem is, is if your messaging on your website is confusing, they're not gonna stick around. They're going to go and check out the competition. You don't want that. That's why you need to make sure that your website visitors will get these three things within three seconds of landing on your website. The first one is how are you solving my problem? Number two is how are you making my life better? And number three, which may seem super simple for you, but how do I get it? Now, the reason why I say that number three is super important is because for the vast majority of websites that I see, the call to action or how do I get it is really confusing. More info, get started. I have no idea what that means. I don't wanna get started with anything. So spend the time to clarify the message so when a prospect lands on your website, they're super clear of what they're going to get, how it's going to make their life better, and how they can get it. Phone number, form to fill out, but it's really super clear. And moving on to the third lead generation tactic, SEO'd blog content. You may have heard it a thousand times, but it's just because it really works. Getting your website to rank high on Google for your keywords still depends in 2019 on amazing content. And the best way to get that done, well, is by having blogs, great blogs on your website. So what's SEO'd blog content? It is rich, relevant, amazing content that your demographic, industry, niche, 
target audience is looking for related to your industry. Now, I'm not talking about those crappy 200 to 400 words that I've seen some people putting on the website. Those don't work. They didn't work then, they don't work today, and it won't work tomorrow. What I mean is I mean highly valuable content, content that you would be willing to read. And more importantly, that the people reading it would be so amazed by the quality of the content that they would share it with their friends. So for example, a local barber should create a blog on their website of the top 10 trending hairstyles in 2019. Now that blog should include ways to get it done, pictures, samples, all that stuff, like really make it rich and really good because people are going to read it, they're gonna love it, and they're going to share it. Another example would be a lawyer dealing with debt collection. So for example, they could write a blog of the 10 ways to deal with a debt collectors once they call you. Dad blogs for the people that are dealing with debt collectors would be super helpful because it would give them a top 10 rich in detail list of the things they should and shouldn't do when a debt collector calls them. So next and moving on to number four which is content distribution. And if content is king, then distribution is queen. Because just writing great content is simply not enough. You need to get it in front of the people that matters most to you, your target audience. That's why when you write blog content on your website, you wanna make sure that it reaches as many people as possible with those three simple ways. So first, obviously, share that blog on social media. You can share it on LinkedIn, on Facebook, on Twitter, all the channels that are appropriate for your business where your target audience is most likely hanging out. The second thing you can do is look for social media influencers in your industry that would be willing to share your content. You can simply reach out to them. A lot of them will share it for free if they think that the content is valuable and some may want a little bit of money in order to do that and have it as a sponsored post. But influencer marketing is something that you should start paying attention to. And the third way is spend a little bit of money promoting your content on the social media platform. Platforms. If you have a blog that is actually doing well and starting to show some ranking possibilities, then you might want to put in a few bucks and put an ad on Facebook to reach a much larger demographic and drive traffic to your website with an amazing blog content. And you don't have to spend a fortune. 25 bucks a week or 50 bucks or 100 bucks a month, that's going to be sufficient sometime to get a good decent amount of traffic to your blog. You don't have to spend a fortune. Moving on to the fifth lead generation strategy and it's guest posting. Guest posting is when you contact other blogs or publication and offer them to write content for them. You would be surprised as how many publications are actually actively looking for great content to put on their online version or printed version of their publications. Same goes with very popular blogs. They're always looking for rich, relevant content. So it's a great opportunity if you're spending the time and energy to create great blogs to actually leverage it and reach out to them and just offer them to guest post on their publications. And normally doing so may offer a link back from that publication back to your website and that is an amazing amount of authority that you absolutely want. And this is very popular for SEO and lead generation. Now moving on to the six lead generation strategies and it's webinars. Offering free online classes, aka webinars, is a great way to build an audience and provide content, position you as an authority for your target audience. It's a strategy that many businesses now use to grow their audience. But how does it work? Generally, you will use a tool like Zoom or GoToWebinar to schedule an event for your target market. It's very much like scheduling a Facebook Live. And then you invite people to register for your webinar. You can leverage Facebook, put an ad, put 25 bucks to it to reach your target audience and invite them to basically RSVP for a free webinar. And in your webinar, you're going to provide helpful information, how to solve problem, give them a top three 
things that they can do to improve their life, whatever industry you are. And at the end, you know, in the last five minutes, you can make an offer, you can give them a discount entry or a uh, any kind of offer that you can make them and then try to get some customers that way. However, whether they buy the product or not is not super important. What is important is you're starting to develop a relationship with someone that you can nurture over time. They might not be a customer today, but they might be next month or six months from now. All right, moving on to the seventh strategy, which is digital ads. With over 2 billion monthly users on both Facebook and Google, chances are your future customers are already there. And what's a guaranteed way to get noticed? Digital advertising, also known as Google Ads or pay-per-clicks or PPC. Right now, digital advertising on Facebook, it's probably the cheapest it's ever going to be. And it's the only marketing strategies guaranteed to put you, your brand, your product services in front of the right audience. That's why for me, I am very bullish for most businesses to be having at least a weekly ad on Facebook advertising your products and services. Now I have focused the first seven on digital marketing, the next three are offline strategies. And starting with number eight is networking. Making yourself known at local events, it's one of the best way to generate leads for your business. Look for groups or event that will have the highest number of your target market, your target audience. There's tons of tools out there. One of them that I use quite often is Meetup. Just go to meetup.com and look for local events and you'll be amazed by the number of events in your geographical area with tons of people that are looking for what you sell. And if you wanna put your networking and hyperdrive, try this next one, which is number nine, Public speaking. If networking is a good idea for your business to generate some leads, then you seriously want to look at public speaking. There are tons of events around you looking for qualified speaker that can help their audience understanding one or another topic. Use this opportunity to grow your business. Public speaking is networking on steroids. Why? because you will establish yourself as the credible source and an authority in that specific industry or service. And I understand that public speaking is not for everyone. Some people actually fear public speaking more than death. I'm like, I don't get that. I mean, like if you put a gun to my head and say, speak or die, I wanna speak. However, I understand that it's not for everyone. And if you're looking to polish your skills, you can certainly look for a local Toastmasters that will help you polish your public speaking skills. And they have chapters in just about every single city in North America. And moving on to number 10, lead generation strategies, and it's cold calling. Yeah, I know, you probably hate it, but cold calling done right actually works. I think that the problem with cold calling is people trying to overdo it. My suggestion would be start small. Give yourself, I'm going to call one person per day or five people per week. I'm just going to dedicate two hours on Tuesday morning from 10 to 12 to call five new people that I've never called. And what are the chances that those five people that you're going to call may not be interested in what you have to offer or hanging up on you? It's actually pretty good. However, cold calling is a numbers game and you have to understand the math. And I know that if you call at least 100 people, you will get at least one to five new clients out of that. So spend some time investigating how to do cold calling effectively and give it a shot. You'll be surprised at the results you're going to get. Just remember to keep those three most important things when cold calling to get new business. Number one, be prepared. Know who you're going to call and how you're going to help them. Number two, call with the intent to provide value to them. Not trying to make a sale, but you're trying to help them out. I am bringing value to you. And number three, stand up and smile. 55% of your message is in your body language. And even though they cannot see you, they can actually sense it. And specifically, they'll hear the difference. 
Okay, so those were my 10 awesome lead generation tips to help you grow your business. Question of the day, what is your most effective lead generation strategy? Put it in the comments below and let's have fun with it. Okay, so this does it for today. If you have any questions, any comments, put them in the links below. And before you leave, please subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss a thing. Thank you.